Hello viewers, this is Kulsum Ahmed. Today I'm here with the topic Law of Diminishing Returns. This is the type, topic of microeconomics. Now what is Law of Diminishing Returns? The word diminishing tells you decreasing and return tells you that the output that you are getting. So this means in economics diminishing return is a decrease in the marginal output of a production process as more and more workers are hired at a firm. Each additional worker contributes less and less to production because the firm has a limited amount of equipment. Now here we can understand that uh, we have to assume that the firm is going to use fixed factors of production and only uh, variable factor would be the labor. So if other things remaining constant, if only we are going to increase the labor, its production will be increasing and after that it will start decreasing. It means additional output means every new labor how much the person is bringing into the firm it will initially be increasing and later on will be decreasing now uh, before coming to the law of diminishing returns we need to understand what are, what are the assumptions of the law the first assumption that I have discussed before is the quantity is the function of labor capital technology and nature resources but here we are going to just take labor as a variable and rest of the factors would be considered as constants the second assumption is uh, that we are going to assume that labor is going to be the homogeneous product it means we are not going to increase the, uh, the number of people having more skill and having more knowledge we, uh, rather we are going to keep every worker on the same skill level and same efficiency level then the third assumption is assumes that state of technology is given mean technology is already been given that is already been deployed we are not going to change the technology definitely if technology will be changed then this law will not work out because uh, the higher uh, the advanced technology may increase the productivity instead of decreasing the productivity so we are going to assume that technological change will not be done then assumes that input prices are given means the inputs that we are going to use will remain of the same prices because if the prices of inputs will decrease the producer will be able to deploy more of the items and will be getting more of the product so we'll have to keep that constant now types of law of return we have two types of law of return that is law of returns to scale and law of variable proportions now what does law of returns to scale tell it tells us that we are going to analyze production in a short period it means the variable factor will be only labor rest of the factors will stay constant then comes uh, law of variable proportions the word variable proportions tells us that it is going to increase every other factor is also going to increase so it analyzes production in longer time period so in longer time period as you know before that uh, we can change any of the labor uh, any of the factor of production uh, not only labor will change but rest of the factors can also change in longer now we are going to assume that we are going to have a farmhouse uh, agricultural farm and the technology is constant we can only increase the number of workers then what will happen uh, number of workers will be increasing from 1 to 12 and every new worker is going to bring additional output into the firm into the farm so the first worker was bringing 10 items the second wor worker has brought um, is able to bring 25 items now see this 25 is not the only work of the second person but this is the cumulative work of first person and the second person so uh, we'll have to change uh, a marginal productivity as you know the formula that change in total productivity divided by change in quantity so change in total productivity happened with 25 minus 10 will be 15 so additional output that the next person has brought was 15 then uh, come to the total product that is 45 and 45 minus 25 will be 20 it means the third person has brought in 20 then the fourth person 60 minus 45 will be 15 and 4 minus 3 will be 1 it means that there is a difference uh, between these two will be 15
now in this way we are going to take out the marginal productivity and now let's go move to that average productivity now average productivity formula you know per head productivity means 10 divided by 1 so 1% 1 was able to bring in 10 so here it should be 10 rather than having 0 it should be 10 then 25 divided by 2 it should be 12.5 then 45 divided by 3 means 15 means every additional uh, next person is bringing more um, productivity into the firm so it means that uh, deploying more labor are good enough over here now we are going to uh, divide it into three uh, into phases four phases first phase where the per head productivity is increasing will be known as increasing returns here you can see that average productivity is increasing in initially it was 10 then became 12.5 then became 15 and then became 15 so it is increasing then decreasing return means now the production has started per head production has started decreasing if it was 12.5 then became 10.8 then became 10 and then comes constant returns to scale constant return mean uh, over here to come to the total productivity the total productivity is 75 and 75 it means the production has not increased rather it is constant over here then comes the negative returns negative re for uh, knowing negative return we'll have to see marginal productivity that is in minus so we can say that here the returns are instead of increasing it these are decreasing now here we have to assume uh, we have to uh, notice two things the first thing is total productivity was first increasing then it was increasing at a decreasing rate then it became constant now when it became constant it was the peak of the total productivity and here you can see when there is peak of total productivity the marginal productivity is zero and after that the average productivity has started decreasing it means when total productivity is on the peak that is the ideal place that is the ideal production that is the ideal labor that we have deployed so this is going to be the ideal situation now here we are going to draw the diagram you can see uh, on one side we have taken number of workers the second side we have taken quantity of output produced then we are having total productivity line uh, the first uh, phase is increasing returns to scale then comes decreasing returns to scale and then constant returns to scale and then comes the negative returns to scale so this is the law of diminishing returns now what are the stages of law of return as i discussed before increasing return will be with every new labor your productivity is increasing at a increasing rate decreasing return tells us with every new uh, a person deployed the per uh, the productivity will be now it is uh, no matter it is increasing but at a decreasing rate it will be increasing at a decreasing rate then comes negative returns means now we are going to deploy more person and instead of having more of the output we have rather having less of the output then comes constant returns to scale constant returns to scale tells us that productivity will remain constant it is not increasing it will be on the constant stage now here are is the diagram we are going to have parallel diagrams of average productivity, marginal productivity and total productivity. So as I discussed before, total productivity is initially increasing, then increasing at a decreasing rate, then it is going to be constant and then will be falling down. Now what will happen to the average product and marginal product? Now see, initially the average product is increasing more than marginal product mean every additional person is bringing into the business but it is bringing less than the per head output that was previously brought so when the total productivity is at the peak marginal productivity and average productivity will become equal it means that this is going to be the ideal place and afterwards what is happening the marginal productivity is decreasing and average productivity is also decreasing but marginal productivity is decreasing more than decrease in average product so 
initially minor productivity was greater than average product then minor productivity is equal to average product and then minor productivity is less than average product so these three stages are happening now what is marginal productivity that is the additional product being received when a new labor is deployed and what is average product that is per head productivity mean uh, total product divided by quantity will be the per head productivity then comes total productivity reaches maximum as marginal productivity will be equal to zero so the ideal place is uh, you will have to deploy the number of people where your total productivity is on the peak and where your marginal productivity is going to be zero because now additional person is bringing nothing to your business and if you will be deploying even more people it means your productivity will be going to negative so this will not be entertained now what is the significance of law of returns why to learn law of returns first of all it is more helpful in agricultural sector as quantity of labor can be increased easily definitely you have the machinery and you can increase the number of people working on your farm um, it is helpful in ag industrial sector as well but in industrial sector our marginal productivity will be equal to zero in a very later terms means in a very later stage it will happen not in the uh, a, a, not, not it will be happening in the very earlier stage but in agriculture it will be happening very soon then it allows managers to decide optimal employment of labor so this law is uh, helping us know how much labor we should deploy and where to stop then it becomes easy to analyze capital labor uh, ratio so you should know if i am having four machines how much labor i should deploy over there so you will be able to know how much capital is required and how much labor is required so this was all about my today's video if you like my video please like share and subscribe my channel thank you